it seems that with each and every episode, I keep saying that the boys manage to top themselves each and every single time. Like, this is the best episode yet and I just don't know. What the hell did I just watch? Like, this is the best thing on TV right now. And with each episode, there are a number of WTF moments that made you go, what the hell did I just watch? What the hell is happening? And what the hell is going to happen next? And this episode is definitely not an exception. And that brings me to this video. Here are some top 9 moments that made you go, what the fuck? At number 9, we have Ashley standing up to A-Train. This was, I feel like, a very satisfying scene. He talks to Ashley about getting justice for his brother and the other people that Blue Hawk has hurt. And Ashley just went off on him about how she spent hours trying to, you know, cover up all the shit that he has done, all the murders, all the accidents that he has caused. But when it happens to him, that is when he wants justice. And I freaking loved the scene. I think it was the, at that moment he realized he was just a pot trying to call the kettle black. And I think that's what influenced him on the decision and action that he made later in the episode. At number 8, we have the opening scene with Homelander, the Deep, Black Noir, and Ashley. It's in this scene that Homelander finally finds out that the person who killed Crimson Countess and the havoc on the streets is actually Soldier Boy. The disbelief on his face. And for the first time ever, fear. Homelander was actually afraid of Soldier Boy, of the impact of him being alive will be for him and his image. Man, what a terrific scene to start off with before the crazy showdown at the end. And now at number 7, we have Starlight and Victoria's scene. Oh boy, for a second, I mean for more than a second, I thought that maybe this is the scene that Starlight dies. Because Victoria has already found out that Huey and Starlight know everything. And when Victoria's offer is rejected by Starlight, it was like, eh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's where he's just gonna die, but you know, it doesn't happen. It was a very tense scene. Victoria is absolutely terrifying, knowing what we know about her, she can instantly just kill you without even lifting a finger. I'm just glad everything went okay, but I'm now more interested to see where the story with Victoria goes next. Next up is Kimiko, Frenchie and Sherry's torture scene. Oh man. It seems like Kimiko can never be happy in the boys show and Frenchie as well. Frenchie has also gone through a lot but come on this was just a crazy heartbreaking scene man. After the case Frenchie went to get coffee and he was kidnapped. So Kimiko in the hospital is there thinking that because she kissed him that's why he left and ran away or something like that. Oh my god, it was just heartbreaking to see her like that. Because she's very happy with Frenchie. She finally confessed her feelings to him in this way and this happens. Frenchie has already been beaten and then he's asked to choose between Kimiko and Sherry. Oh my god. And how Kimiko got free and she was able to fight back through all the pain. She was able to kill them for someone who just, you know, wanted to stop killing. It just broke my heart, man. I just, I hope they kill little Nina in this season. Like, you gotta kill that bitch. At number five, we have A-Train killing Blue Hawk. Man, it finally came. We've been talking about this since last episode, I think. When Blue Hawk freaking caused that mayhem in the center. And in so doing, paralyzed his brother, man. And then at this point... It feels like when Ashley shouted at him about the consequences of his actions and him apologizing to Huey, he, he, he was like, fuck it, I'm gonna kill this guy no matter what, even if he kills me. And that's what he does. Man, I don't know what is gonna happen next. Is he really dead or is he alive? But I feel like this was a very satisfying scene and I'm not forgiving him yet for all the shit he's done, but this is a start for his redemption arc. Coming up is Starlight exposing everyone and quitting on Instagram live. Man, I think this was a long time coming. We've seen Starlight being stretched thin this season, reaching a breaking point. Everybody's using her. Huey, who's supposed to comfort her, who's supposed to be her lover, is also not with her anymore. And they are just having this disagreement and all these issues. But finally, at the end of the episode, she finally confesses it all. She exposes everyone on Instagram Live, all the superheroes, Soldier Boy, Vault, and especially Homelander. I just don't know what is going to happen to her next, but it's not going to be pretty if they catch her. And episode 7 can't come soon enough. At the next spot is the hero gasm scene.
man i i just don't want to be demonetized even though i've not yet monetized the channel and i also don't want to get my video taken down or the channel so i'll just be showing some scenes and heavily censoring them but goddamn i thought it was going to be an ordinary orgy but i mean with the boys how can it be an ordinary orgy it's an orgy with superheroes with different powers one time i saw a guy whose dick was on flames oh my god <laughs> it's gonna bring that shit up <laughs> wow i know that the comics is much worse like the comics is crazier than what it is but this episode even though that was not the main focus it got people talking about it since last week it was trending non-stop and people are just going crazy right now on twitter at the second spot is homelander's humanity or him talking to his conscience or split personality whatever that scene was i never thought that the boys would actually make me feel bad for homelander we all know that this guy didn't have the best of childhood like to say the least he was freaking made in a lab with no parents raised as a test subject all his life made to be this type of person and you know how that went he became homelander and then in this scene he's actually conversing with his 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 crazy side that side that believes himself to be a god and we see this guy his humanity we see how scared he is we see how vulnerable he is at that moment i mean leave it to the boys to make us see homelander in this way with all the shit that he has done and i have to say this scene worked and anthony star man this guy is a fantastic actor at number one, we have Butcher, Soldier Boy, and Huey versus Homelander. Oh my freaking god. This is, I think, the craziest fight scene in the boys. Like, Maeve, Kimiko, and Starlight fighting Stormfront was cool and all. But goddamn, this was so hyped from the beginning. Because we knew that Soldier Boy and Homelander were going to fight along with Butcher. And Huey also joining in. But we didn't know that it was going to go like this. From the exchange between Soldier Boy and Homelander to them coming to blows the first time. And then Butcher joining in and freaking shocking Homelander to his core about him having powers. And the tag team between Soldier Boy and Butcher, them fighting Homelander. What a crazy ass scene. Huey also joins in unexpectedly, helps out. And when we thought that it was all going to be done there, Homelander freaking runs away. Like he freaking flew. He ran. The first time in his life where he's actually been scared enough to run away from a fight. But I have to commend the boys for actually delivering on their hype. Now that's it for the list, but I just want to add a couple of bonuses, three to be exact. First is the deep fucking an octopus. Oh my god. Why wasn't I surprised? Like, we've seen the deep do some weird shit. And then next is Soldier Boy's blast in the house. The orgy house. Soldier Boy is just a walking nuclear bomb. Look at what the devastation it caused. The power. Imagine what it could have done to Homelander. He knew what time was up. That's why he flew away. And then finally, we have Gal Gadot's parody or opening scene. Oh my god, <laughs> leave it to the boys to do this shit again. They did it with the A Train's energy drink, you know, mirroring what Kendall Jenner did with the Pepsi commercial. And that's not even the only one in this season, but that's what people were talking about most. And then look at what they did the same thing that Gal Gadot and the other celebrities did. It was just so cringe. <laughs> and I loved it. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. But I'm not the only one. Imagine all the people. Now that's it for the list. Man, this was a crazy ass episode. This was the best episode yet. Leave it to the boys to just keep topping themselves over and over and over. Like each episode is like, this is the best episode yet. And the next one comes and you say the same thing. Man, I just can't wait for the next episode. What the hell is going to happen to Starlight, Huey, Butcher and Soldier Boy? What are they going to do next? What about Mother Smoke? What's going to happen to him? Adrian, is he going to survive? What about Victoria? What are her plans? Man, I just can't wait. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss any other video. And I have some WTF moments also on the channel as well. You can check them out from episode 1 to 5. That's it for the video. As always, Nelly Sage here. See you guys in the next one.